सो वेलकम फॉर टूडेज क्लास ऑफ मैथमेटिक्स दिस इज फॉर क्लास नाइन मैथमेटिक्स चैप्टर ट्वेल्व हेरॉन्स फॉर्मूला एक्सरसाइज ट्वेल्व पॉइंट टू क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री सो आई विल बी सॉल्विंग एक्सरसाइज ट्वेल्व पॉइंट टू क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री टूडे फर्स्ट आई कैन टेक डाउन द क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री राधा मेड अ पिक्चर ऑफ एन एरोप्लेन विथ कलर्ड पेपर हैज शोन इन फिगर ट्वेल्व पॉइंट फिफ्टीन ओके दिस इज ट्वेल्व पॉइंट फिफ्टीन फिगर फाइन द टोटल एरिया ऑफ द पेपर यूज यू हैव टू फाइन द टोटल एरिया ओके so the first part this is your first part now this is फाइव सेंटीमीटर so here also it will be फाइव सेंटीमीटर and this portion is वन so basically you will take your a to be फाइव your b to be फाइव and your c will be equal to वन okay for the first part for the this will be the for the first part okay so let us do this okay so I can write down over here area of the first part okay here you all can see area of the first part if this is 5 cm this is also 5 cm and this is 1 okay this is for the first part this will be 1 cm okay so here you can write down over here area of the first part okay a is 5 b is 5 c is 1 so what first find out the semi parameter s is equal to a plus b plus c that formula you all apply okay upon 2 so what is your s is equal to 5 plus 5 plus 1 upon 2 so 5 plus 5 will be 10 so you will get 11 upon 2 okay 11 upon 2 means what what answer you all are getting s is equal to s is equal to your answer will be divide it by divide and see what answer you all are getting okay Divided like this, two divided by eleven, two fives are ten. Okay, you will get one will remain. Point zero two fives are ten. So your answer is what five point five. Okay, this is the way you will have to divide and see. Okay. So S is equal to five point five. Now find the area of the triangle. So let us find the area of the triangle. What is the formula for the area of the triangle? S into S minus A. S is your semi parameter, okay? And A, B, C are the sides. So S minus B and S minus C, right? And your next step is going to be what? Your S is what? What answer you got? Five point five, okay? Here it will be five point five minus what was your A? Five, right? Your A was five. Then five point five. Minus five and again five point five minus minus what you will get one right put the bracket now this is equal to what five point five multiplied by five point five minus Five point five minus five will give you zero point five. So here also zero point five multiplied by five point five minus five will give you zero point five multiplied by five point five minus one will give you four point five. Okay, now here zero point five is common, so take it outside. Zero point five. I'll have to take it outside because it is in pairs, right? I can see the zero point five, zero point five have pairs. Next thing, what we are going to do is write down five five fifty five, right? Fifty five. You all can write down divided by ten. Put the root for the entire root. It is okay. Multiplied by, you will get forty five divided by ten. Okay, now you can split it. Five elevens are okay. That you all can do. Zero point five into eleven. Five multiplied by eleven, right? Five elevens are fifty five only. We will get then five threes are fifteen. Fifteen threes are you will get forty five. Upon what is there? Ten multiplied by ten is there. So this ten upon ten will be having a pairs, right? Design pairs. So that you will have to take it outside. So zero point five upon ten will be outside. 
and here so write down this as it is 5 multiplied by 11 5 multiplied by 11 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3 now you all can see that the 5 and 5 will have a pair and this 3 will have a pair right so what you will do is write down 0 0.5 for 0 0.5 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 3 and into root 11 you will get right so what you do is first let me cancel this okay so what was this 5 3 3 okay so you will get divided by 10 it was right so what answer you will get is so your answer is nothing but 0 0.75 5 3 is a 15 multiplied by 0 0.5 you all have to do divide by 10 it is so 0 0.5 into root 11 so root 11 how you all have to do long division method okay if you all don't know i can comment below then i'll teach you all how to do that okay if you all know it then you all can do it if you all don't know you all can comment below so root 11 you will get 3.31 3.31 so if you multiply this what what answer you all are going to get 2.4825 4.8 okay 4 it is enough centimeter square okay next thing what i'll have to find is area of the second part now we need to find the area of the second part okay so let us find the area of the second part for second part it will be length into breadth what will be your length your length will be 6.5 your breadth will be 1 centimeter here you all can see 1 centimeter and your length is for the second part it is 6.5 okay part of uh, area of the second part let us do area of the second part so length multiplied by breadth so area, length was 6.5 multiplied by breadth was 1 so answer was 6.5 right 6.5 centimeter now let us find the area of the third part area of the third part what is the formula for the area of the third part how we are going to find out 3 multiplied by root 3 upon 4 okay into a square so let us find out what is our a for the area third part third part you can see what is given for the third part 1 right third part here it is 1 centimeter so you can write down 1 centimeter so is equal to 3 multiplied by what was root of uh, 3 if you all don't know the long division uh, to find the square root of 3 by using long division method you all can comment below i will tell you all how to do it okay i'll provide you the link of that so a value of a is one square and upon four write it as it is then you will get 5.19 upon four if you divide it you will get 1.29 centimeter square if you all don't know to divide also i can comment below okay so area of the third part was 1.29 centimeter square now let us find the area of the fourth and the fifth part what is the formula for this one half into base multiplied by height you will can say so half into what is your base for the fourth part so you all can see it is six centimeter okay over here it also it will be six centimeter and your height was 1.5 right your height is 1.5 here it is given 1.5 so here also it will be 1.5 okay so let us find so multiplied by 6 multiplied by 1.5 so what you will get is 2 ones are 2 threes are multiply 3 multiplied by 
the answer will be 4 see what i have done over here is this 3 and 1.5 was remaining so if you multiply this what you will get is 4.5 now this is the fourth and the fifth part so you have to multiply it for twice so if you you have to multiply it twice because this is for the fourth and the fifth part that's why you are multiplying it with 2 2 okay 4.5 multiplied with 2 because there are two parts so what you what answer you are going to get is 90 centimeter square now what you'll have to do is find the total area total area means all the areas total area like uh, for one first one it is plus second one for the plus third plus fourth and fifth fourth and fifth okay so for the first one what answer we got for the first one For the first one, it was 2.48 centimeter square. 2.48. So write down. This is equal to 2.48 plus for the second one, what we got was for the second part. For the second, it was 6.5 and for the third one, it is 1.29. For the second one, it was 6.5. 0 plus for the fourth one, it was 1.29 plus for the fourth and the fifth one. Combining the fourth and the fifth one, you all got fourth and fifth part was here 90 centimeter. So 90. So you will have to add all this and see what answer you are going to get okay 9 centimeter okay not 90 it is 9 centimeter 9 centimeter it is correct it properly okay it is 9 centimeter for the fourth and the fifth part it is 9 centimeter square okay so after adding that what you are going to get is 19.27 you will get okay so centimeter square 19.27 centimeter square so i hope you have understood how to do this okay exercise 12.2 question number 3 and thanks for watching if any doubts queries you all can comment below if uh, there is any mistakes and i uh, if i need to correct it and all multiplication addition and long division method okay finding the square root of the long division method if you all don't know anything from this you all can comment below which one it is write it properly okay so i i will solve it and i will provide the link in the comment session only so i hope you have understood and thanks for watching don't forget to like share and subscribe